if you remember we was working on this scenery lake with some bloom effect so I think it's a good idea to maybe reuse for some animations and let's apply some of those populations also what we have it so right here we have our uh, let's enable some render and we created a lake water we created some of the rocks and we also have some populations we was using at the time um, grass clam and it just created a spike look like grass from far away and it's a native kind of done inside the turgeon um, and let's do some animations with this you notice that it's in Turgen 4 now the animation included with all versions so it's kind of nice you can work on this and on the bottom by default you can see right here you have your animation timeline okay with the project settings um, high display go to next frame first frame and also um, the toggle frame per frame in real time so this is very rough look of course you can access if you're going inside the view and we can open animation panel and let's open in a new window and we'll come back to this but right here's our animation panel that we can kind of um try to adjust there you go let's make it bigger okay in animations panel you can see we have keyframes we have our current frames so we have 100 frames by default we can always increase how many frames will go displayed okay and let's over look just very fast look over what we have right here on the top you can see we have our slider going from frame to frame of course we can kind of increasing um, moving with our frame per frame or jump directly moving around i say start end current our frame selecting we have it uh, feed to work to all the way so our zoom kind of enable we have it fit to the key so we have any specific key um, going beginning frame play next frame going to the last frame loop we also have it a toggle playback look for back forward so it start kind of like go back and forward and loop when it's played to the end start from beginning so in also uh, between a real time and frame per frame so it depends how we want to go um, as we work we can look more in there we, when we create some properties we'll see how they will come up we'll display some of those properties in our left box and keyframe and at times will be displayed in our play so we'll come back to this just overall you'll notice we have this animation window so you don't just stuck to this uh, small slider on the end okay the one thing when we creating um our animations we will need to set some keyframes or and you'll notice right here it's kind of almost like snapshot of the position so let's right now we'll go add object and then i want to go to actually let's go you know what let's zoom out on um we'll just zoom out a little bit more from here okay And I just add some more population to this. For example, we go to populations, we go to TGO reader, okay, plants, and we can go to um, we can select any of these plants. So let's go to chestnuts plants, models, and you can see we have a different. I'll just take one. Okay, it's will preloaded. Okay, right here we have it our chestnut if we click populate it will just populating around but we can see the locations of this and let's take this maybe plants put somewhere on a background so for that one we can just adjust the area okay so it will be located way far on the back okay, let's pop up this maybe to um, 5,000 and maybe 6,000 Okay, and because far away I don't need them be so close together, I will increase distance between them. So you can see how they disperse kind of. Even some of them come a little bit closer to the camera, which is fine. Okay, and we'll go to our um, scale. Let's add diversity, so from 0 0.1 to 1. 0.3 so we'll have a different size guys okay, rotation 
I want to lean and I'll just leave it as default. So we'll populate and you can see how the some of them changing, some bigger, smaller creating. And um, we won't use it to repopulate every frame. Um, this is kind of nice if we create grass and we want animated grass, we can apply some wave texture this in displacement and we can do in some other tutorials and you can see how they will kind of like almost wind going. But on this case, we won't do that. Same as a clip. So we'll leave everything else as default. So right here we have a population for this. Um, we can go also going to different population and another reader. And in this case, let's go to take some odds and it's kind of like a grass looking. So we'll go to models. We'll just select one. So let's go open. And by default, if we populate, you can see it's populating right around this area. And I actually want to take from here this population. Now let's leave this alone. So right here is our um, oat right here population. So we can also same do what we've done before. We can go to start painting, create shader or a painting. Let's go to make smaller brush. Okay. And I'm just want to paint some around this area. Just a little bit around lake. Okay. So right here, this is our um, shader. We go take connection, connecting to our populations. And because it's a little bit smaller, okay, let's go to stop painting this moment. Okay, I want to take um, this our populations and increase. So we'll go probably 2000 by 2000. And let's move it about 500. So right here we populated and this is about, um, I take a little bit bigger, but because we're painting, it will just go on the edges. And actually for this one, I want make smaller. So I want to have a little bit more dense populating for this. We'll go to the scale and I want to pop up a little bit more. So notice when we're populating, it's actually populate quite a bit instance, but it's creating nice um, plants around our lake. So let's go to this and we'll go back to uh, reset our preview. So we'll go back to what we was before. And I want kind of a little bit adjust, take my camera. You know, maybe actually get a little bit closer like this. Okay, let's re-enable, oops, click re-enable our texture. So I want to see position. Okay, objects, texture. There you go. Okay, so right here is about, you know what, maybe a little bit even closer. We'll put camera on the low point. Okay, the one thing about camera, so let's look a little bit closer to animation. So I set the camera. What I want to do, I want to set my camera to this point. So I want to be sure I click and enable. Okay, and right here you can see my position my timeline set on a frame one. So what I want to do, I want to click on animation, set key and key all X, Y, and Z for now. And as well as a rotation. So in this case, I already kind of preset the rotation. So I can go now to the, my last frame, jump right here. We can take my camera and, you know, maybe move a little bit more this way, look around kind of, change um, some area, get closer. So we have all of this nice looking, uh, maybe right around there. Okay, so we can position. And one thing, if we try to set key right now, it's remember, it will remember camera before. So for this, we also need to go ahead and set new position for this. And we can key all at this point. Okay, you can do this different way, but right now it's kind of a little bit more visual. So now we preview. Okay, let's go back to beginning. We click preview and you can see how our camera using 200 frames. 
we're moving our camera from one position to another okay so right here is nice but um again if you want to animate anything else you also need it to do the uh, same thing so for example we go to sunlight and then sunlight right here i want set key for elevation and i want set key for the heading as well so then if we go again to the last frame you don't necessarily need to go you can do on the middle that frame but for now if we go right here i'll just set change a little bit heading and you know maybe put it sun a little bit i think this will work okay so just you can see how it's changed and we'll have a nice bloom effect so right now if again let's go right here and set key animations you notice green right here and one thing you'll notice as i modify i have this icon on my um node view come up with with the sunlight and with a render as well camera so we have this symbols pop up that says this is now have some animation key to this okay let's go back to beginning and we can play now and you can see how we modify we modify also positioning lighting and we modify our camera so in animations you need to apply this to keys to every property that you want to animate by default there won't be any animations at all so okay let's go ahead to view and right now we can go and open our animation panel and you notice right here we have now these two objects appear so we have our position we can see directly how it will affect the our x y and z and you can see by the color as well as the rotation so we have our rotation on x going y and z and z is because it was in one same plane so it's not changing on the rotations okay so you can see right here it's showing you in some R key of course you can go and modify directly key from this point if we need to adjust them directly in our keyframe and this is when you look a little bit more on details how to modify but overall right here we're showing all our keys showing our also adjustments in the, like on the sun elevations you can see right here we have our keyframe set if we have more than one keyframe they will also display in our point if we set some keyframe on the middle and you currently saw this was more linear like for example in position if we go look you can also adjust and create a little bit more curve a little bit more smoother uh, transition so right here for example our camera won't be necessarily go linear straight go so we'll have at least a little bit more natural so what i did it just um says fit to curve from those ones so I just have a simple curve beginning slowly more adjustments so let's give it a little bit more natural look this way okay let's go preview on this way okay first frame go click and you can see it starts slowly now we have a very nice smooth a little bit faster and it will start slow down kind of this adjustments a little bit more curve to the end so let's give it a little bit more natural look on our animation yeah, so right here it was overview for animations and it's needed more special tutorials just go inside and see how much we can animate it but overall um start exploring and again you can animate if you want very fast just set key and animate from the uh, bottom bar or you can go to your animation uh, window and have the final tweaking kind of adjusting from that window thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com